The next way to add texture is through additive methods. So we just subtracted, we removed parts of the clay or we dented the clay in some ways. This time we're gonna add clay. So I use my wire tool, which some of you guys have wires, some of you guys have this fabric, and I cut off a chunk of clay. This is actually my favorite way to add texture because there's so many different possibilities. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a chunk of clay and for this one, I wanna create kind of barnacle look. So I'm gonna take my clay and I'm gonna roll this little ball of clay to a tiny little ball. And now I wanna attach it here, but we talked about it already that I can't just stick this on here and have it stay, because it'll just fall off. We need to slip and score to get this to stay on. So what I'm going to do is take my toothbrush, dip it in some water, decide where I'm gonna put this little barnacle. I'm gonna slip and score, I'm gonna slip and score, and then stick this on. And I'm putting some pressure to make that stick. And to make this look like a barnacle, I'm gonna then take my pin tool. I'm gonna to put it directly in the middle and I'm gonna spin it around. So it has a hole in the middle of it. And that's how I create this kind of barnacle-ish texture. If you add a whole bunch of these, it becomes much more visually interesting. So slip and score every single time. Stick them on good. Do the same thing with my tool. And this time I'm going all the way around, all the way around. So it creates that hole in the middle. If I keep on adding that, it adds a really nice texture. Another uh, one I like to do in this one, you're gonna first just take a chunk of clay, then you're gonna slip and score. A nice big area. And you're gonna take these little pieces. I'm gonna make them into little um, like pancakes pancake shapes. I'm gonna put it on, and I'm gonna press it down and smush. You notice this one I didn't slip and score, but because I'm smushing it down so much, it's gonna stay really nicely. So I'm gonna keep on doing that, keep on making little pancakes, placing it on, and smushing. This kind of gives the look of scales, especially if I stagger them. You get this really cool scale effect. Another one of my favorites is to make really, really big pancakes. Slip and score them on. Slip and score, slip and score. And overlap these that way. There are so many different ways that you can create texture when you're adding pieces on top of each other. Oh, and score this side. Because now we have this actual physical texture that we can feel on here. Lots of different ways you can do this. You can do this with just small balls of clay. You can keep squishing them down. You can smooth them out so it becomes a bump on there. And then we move on to our pumpkins. You might want to have some imperfections on your pumpkin. So you have these small bumps, like those little kind of warty things on pumpkins. You can even roll coils, as long as you slip and score. You can add this kind of viney texture onto it. And create all this kind of actual physical texture on your work. You can see this one's not sticking quite as well because I didn't slip and score this side. So additive texture is when we're adding more clay to it, and then we have that um, subtractive texture where we're actually moving pieces to create that. So on your own um, dish, you're gonna do additive, and you're gonna do um, the subtractive texture as well. Anywhere on there in any style that you want. Enjoy, guys.